right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. He's going to try to take him down. There you go. Oh, massive slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground side. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Able to land the single ground strike there. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Just over three minutes to go on off first round. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Oh, misses with the jab. Big punch lands through the middle. And both guys really throwing with authority. Man, how about the steam behind that Whitaker jab tonight? Robert Whitaker is a great striker. I mean, he has it all when it comes to a stand-up in the boxing. And that is on full display right now. Oh, nice jab. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. Big kick. Working out of that southpaw stance. And a nice job, at least. Oh, and now he's to the ground. A beautiful single leg takedown. Lift him in the air and put him down. Two minutes now to go in the opening round. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling could really be entertaining. He's having his way with him here. Well, he's got his back now. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush. They get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Twenty seconds to go in round one. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Round one winding down here. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy. 
busy tonight. I mean, over and over, take down the tip after take down the tip, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really... You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round two here. Great striking from Robert Whitaker, as usual. This man puts some serious pressure on you. And when you can beat Yoel Romero the way he did, he is not going to be intimidated by any other 185-pounder in the world. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing every stunt. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a... some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Punch over the top. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Look at the... Oh. That is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. He blocks the punch. Oh, nice instincts on the feet as Whitaker lands again. That's what he does, John. Robert Whitaker's a guy that understands what to do at the correct moment. And right now, he just showed that off. Boy, time slot. And they separate. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight. Oh, dude's hurt. He throws him up. Go get him. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Nice kick. That was a jab. Oh! oh. Posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Closed guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, no surprise as he connects once again and Whitaker gets the takedown. Closed guard. Goes upstairs for an elbow. 
All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when we talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities where you can either escape or sweep. There's no give on that leg kick. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. Sound strike on the ground. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Close guard. Whitaker's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big round and pound. He passed the half guard. All right, side control now. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> but now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look for him to transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, oh, we might have got him with a choke. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand up, get to your knees, gotta watch his neck. Oh! Why is he not recognizing this right now? He's gotta recognize this is dangerous. This is a dangerous position. Might have got him with a choke. Brilliant 
submission defense there. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Back to his feet. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Pretty good right hand. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Just missed with the left there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, nice Huge elbow. elbow there. He needs to start looking to finish now. Uh -oh. strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched glove. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance.